Good morning. Um, a friend of mine who wanted me to start doing some things on organization. So I figured I would start with food. Now we have multiple sizes of the black bags, uh, two gallon, gallon, quart, sandwich, and then there's also snack bags. There's uh, smaller ones to put your medication in and stuff. So that is one way. You can zip lock stuff and put it in the, uh, the freezer, the fridge, in your cupboards, depending on what type of food it is. We also have these here, which you can put pretty much anything in. <laughs> um, these are vacuum sealed bags. This here is red beans and rice. And this here is just red beans. You can put sugar in them, um, flour, um, pretty much any, anything dry. You can put candies in them. Um, well, just, just anything dry. <laughs> and you can put them up. You also can vacuum seal meat and uh, cheese, butter, anything like that, and put it in your freezer too. And I think by vacuuming the air out, I think helps prevent it maybe some from getting freezer burnt. Then we have our canning jars. Um, we have uh, we have these kind. Uh, these are a half a pint. These are a pint. Then we have our quarts and our half a gallons. And we also have other small ones like this. Um, I actually have thyme in this one that I dehydrated just recently. And but these come in different sizes and different shapes. I have actually one behind me here. Now this is a little square one. So these definitely come in all different shapes and sizes uh, of canning jars. You can put anything dry. You can dry can. Like you can put this stuff in here and then put an oxygen absorber on it and seal it. And then you can um, put there's also a thing to vacuum seal which I'll show you in just a moment and then um, or you can get uh, the silicon packs to keep whatever is in them dry then of course you can regular can like this is this here is apple jelly and you can do, um, I have actually some like this that's pineapple, and I also have um, ghee, which is, um, it's butter after you've taken out all the dairy and the sugar out of it, it's, sorry, the dairy and the water out of it, then it just becomes ghee. And then you can also, oh, and plus you, you like, you can can your spaghetti sauce, your meats, pretty much anything in a jar. I'm actually working on, I, I have to get my uh, pressure canner and then pretty much my freezer is going to be pretty empty because I'm going to can everything I can out of my freezer. That way if the power goes out, I don't have to worry about losing anything. I can just keep a minimal in my freezer. Uh, the other thing is you can use other jars for storage. Um, this is a soda bottle. And I have my rice in it. And I have my oxygen absorber right there in the top. I don't know if you can see it through there. Yeah. Um... That way the oxygen is out. This this jug will probably eventually, you can see it denting in already right here because the oxygen is being taken out. Um, we use actually soda bottles for a couple things here. Um, 
every time my son empties a soda bottle from soda, I clean it, rinse it really good, and I fill it up with water. Now, I, and then I find different places in the house to store the water. And right when hurricane season's coming, I fit as many of these frozen bottles in the freezer. That way, one, it helps everything stay frozen longer in there. And secondly, it gives us cold water, ice cold water to drink when we have no power, no uh, AC, no, none of that. So that kind of helps keep us cool as well. Um, and then I use my juice bottles. I clean them out really good and I put my beans or lentils, uh, split peas, anything that's dry like that. Um, I do do my uh, flour a little bit differently, but I'll show you that in a, in a different video. Um, let's see. I also use different kinds of jars, like this here is a coffee jar. Um, you can put rice and beans or whatever in it. And this here is a ragu. This was actually, um, it came with Alfredo in it. And I cleaned it out so when I get more rice or something, I can add it to this. And I also use mayonnaise jugs. Um, they work really good. You have to clean them really good because uh, mayonnaise is an oil base so you have to get right in there with the soap and, and get it really good and getting any of the creases on the inside here um, make sure it's good and clean and rinse it well and uh, I buy a lot of these big mayonnaise jugs so I also have stuff that I store in them as well Pretty much any jug you can use um, as long as you put the oxygen absorber in it, it, it it's gonna keep your stuff for, for quite some time okay. now my vacuum sealer it, it came with a hose kind of like this and uh, it was supposed to hook into here. Um, and uh, I didn't feel that my vacuum sealer had enough suction. So I went out and got a brake bleeder. Which is this. You use it to bleed the brakes on your car. Um, and it came in a, a kit, so I have extra tubes and fittings and stuff that, uh, that would help. And then I purchased these here, which come in a set. This is for wide mouth jars. This is for small mouth jars. Um, right here we have a small mouth jar. I, I took the ring off it and you put this on top and you press down on it make sure it's all snug down and then I take one hand here and hold this and then I take my other hand to squeeze the brake bleeder and you just if you see that needle moving there you need that needle to move at least up to let me see, the 400 mark, which is at the top. While you're holding it in here, because it really wasn't made for these, so you have to hold it in there yourself.
kind of trying to hold it and hold my camera at the same time. Um, you can actually lean that bottom piece to the table and just press down on it. And I know you just heard the can pop. But once I get it up to the 400, which is at the top, I keep going until I see that the needle's not going to move anymore. And then when I take it off, you could hear the little burst of air. And then, it, and then you just take this off. And now your dryer is sealed. You can pick it right up by the lid. It's not going to come off because it's vacuum sealed. Um, you can put oxygen absorbers in there and then put that piece on and vacuum seal it. And then when you're all done, you can just throw your ring on it. Or some people don't put their rings on it. But if I need, like if I get extra jars and I need rings to can, I know where my lids are, my rings are. <laughs> I can just go take them off a jar. And that's about all for that. I hope you have a blessed day. Thank you.